Ha <laughs> Gotcha. What up? <clears throat> it's Monk. Peace and blessings to you from the most high. Man, it's one of those things. You can either be humble or be humbled. Like we talked about in a previous video, you gotta daily make that sacrifice, right? So that's how you steward the humility by laying down what you think you know, laying down the fact that you think you've arrived and made it and you've reached the end all the be all. See, it's this paradox tension in between the two points because it's like you've been saved and everything you need to succeed in your life, everything you need to build, feel peace, joy, love, understanding, strength, happiness, and fear, the fear and respect and honor in the right places, everything you need is already within you. That's the kingdom. So you already got it. It's just a matter of taking the veil off your eyes and recognizing it. But the thing about it is you already have it all, but you also are developing and growing in your awareness. So there's this paradox, right? Of Yes, you already have it all and there's nothing you can do to obtain it. But two, you're undertaking a process of discovering how much, how deep, it all goes. And as you're discovering those things, they are all a part of you. So it's really you're discovering how deep the well of your own self, of your own being goes. And you have to stay humble in that place because here's a big pit or here's a trap that a lot of y'all get caught up in is you put so much focus on me, 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 me. Even if you're on the path, the focus becomes me, 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 and my discovery, my revelation, my, what's the word I'm looking for here? My realization of the giftings and this new reality, my realization of the salvation. You're so caught up in the you, 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 you that then it becomes all about you. You get into pride, which is a lack of humility. And then you forget to see that the depths of yourself that you are uncovering, every person you encounter has those same depths. So if you're not gonna make that assumption about yourself, do not make it about someone else. Right, that's what Jesus talks about. He says, judge not lest you be judged yourself. You have to make judgments. But the further you walk in this, the more you realize that it's according to what you're judging to. Right? You have to make judgments about anything. You woke up, you setting your alarm clock and waking up this morning was a type of judgment. You deciding what food to eat or what not to eat is a type of judgment. Okay, you have to make judgments. And it's not even about making judgments about under pe other people, but it is understanding that the way you judge or the way you look at, the way your eye perceives the person standing across from you is actually a reflection of how you see yourself. So if you make that judgment about that person, person what you're actually doing if it's a negative judgment if it's a bad judgment if it's a limiting judgment if it's not based in truth most of those judgments are rooted in the ego and they're rooted in pride and it's a lack of humility and so what you do is you actually put a limiting factor on your own growth and you're making a choice to do it by casting an unrighteous judgment a judgment that's not based on the heart and truth and courage and all of these fruits of the spirit Stay humble because when that pride takes a hold of you, if you're on the path and you've submitted yourself to that, it's going to be boom, iron scepter. So you can submit to that hard judgment. You can submit humbly. And a lot of times humility hurts, 
But again, don't look at it as like, I'm a bad person or I did a bad thing. No, all humility is when it hurts is like, hey, you are growing, submit and sit under it. It's going to allow you to grow and it's going to allow you to be a more service to the people in your sphere of influence. And if you submit yourself to that striking, you're not going to keep ending up in circumstances that require an extreme measure for you to be humble. So if you just start with a place of humility, you're going to make the ride a lot smoother. It's going to be a lot more enjoyable for you. You're going to encounter some pain. You're going to encounter some discomfort, man. Sometimes it's hard. It's really hard, especially because a lot of times you might be the forerunner in an area of your life or an ecosystem of your life, you know. So an ecosystem, that would be like an area, like your workplace or an area where you have expertise. You might be the front runner in that ecosystem. Someone else might get something, but you don't get to take credit for it. So that, that's true humility. So sit with that, man. Don't let that pride work itself in you. And I would say in this time, we got a lot of weird opinions going on. A lot of y'all are showing y'all's butts with y'all's opinions and where you're at and pride and humility. I mean, this all could be some grand conspiracy. It all could not be. But what difference does it make either way when you cast that opinion forward? What you're doing is creating a layer of separation between yourself and the people you so allegedly say you want to help, right? You're putting yourself on this pedestal and looking down on the poor lowly serfs down there, the poor ignorant people, whatever. Their opinion is not your responsibility. Your mandate is to love them, so love them. Humble yourself. Boom. Stay humble. Don't let pride get you, man. This is Monk. Peace and love from the Most High to you. Out.